Tilly is here. Okay. So here this is Q and this is R. This is yes. This is yes. Listen here. This entire height, this much is called Q. This much is Q. And this entire height from here to here, that is R. That is R. The relation between R and Q, relation between R and Q is the height of the Q is one fourth of the R or 25 percentage of R. Have you got it? Have you got it? The height of the R, the height of the R, A, and height of the Q, height of the Q. This height of the Q is one fourth, one fourth means quarter, one fourth means quarter, quarter, or 25 percentage. If this is 100 percentage, one fourth means 25 percentage. Got it? Same. Orange, four orange, okay, the bag. Uh, and the back of Ali, 25, same here, what is that, 25 percentage is the height of that R wave, R waves, 25 percentage is the height of Q wave, that is a normal thing, that is a normal thing, but, but, in past MI, in previous MI, or after an MI, after an MI, what happens, the chronic change, the chronic change remains. We know that uh, with the MI there will be ST elevation, isn't it? ST elevation, ST depression, isn't it? STEMI and n STEMI. ST elevated MI, non-ST elevated MI. Means ST elevation, ST depression, isn't it? Here what happened? ST elevation depression, I told you the concept, isn't it? Uh, what is the concept? You are not there, then, uh, yes, uh, yes, listen here. See this, yes, this yes, this PR segment and this ST segment. PR segment and ST segment. This should be in a same level. This should be in a same level. Normally, it should be in a same level. Suppose this ST is little bit above from the PR segment. That is called ST elevation. If it is below, ST depression. So both should be in a same level. If it is above, what is that called? ST elevation. If it is below, what is that called? ST depression. ST depression. That is otherwise called non-ST elevated. That means it can be ST depression. Okay, this is in MI. But these changes, what happens? Gradually resolves. Gradually resolves after a short time. What happens? It becomes normal. But one change is there. What is that? Right. Pathological Q. Pathological Q. Just right, right, right. Pathological Q wave. <coughs> Jodi, we are coming to that. Okay. We are coming to that, Jodi. We are just in Q wave. Shall I skip the topic to direct T wave, Jodi? If you want to discuss about T wave, we, we can skip all the other topic. We can move on to uh, T wave directly. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay, Jodi? Is it okay? Then I am ready. My time will be saved. Is it okay? You know it, isn't it? Fine, fine. Yeah. So pathological Q wave. Now we are discussing about Q wave. Okay, pathological Q wave. What is pathological Q wave? Yeah, I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, fine. Very good, Jodi. Very good. Okay, fine. Ah, Anita, have you got it? Jodi has just explained to you what is it? ST elevation depression. Okay, fine. Ah, come on. So pathological Q wave. What is pathological Q wave? It is the evidence of past MI. Evidence of old MI or past MI. Evidence of old MI. Old MI. What is pathological Q wave? Normal, we know that the height of Q wave is one fourth of R wave. But in pathological, the height of the Q wave increases. Height of the Q wave increases. Height of the Q wave increases. Got it? Old MI. Old MI. The evidence of old, old, old MI is pathological. Q wave. So just write the depth of the the depth of the depth of or height depth or height the depth or height the depth or height of Q wave depth or height of the Q wave 
becomes becomes more than 25 percentage more than 25 percentage in bracket you can write more than one fourth more than one fourth more than one fourth more than one fourth one fourth means one by four okay of that of r wave of that of r wave okay so this is the this is the old mi marker so what is the old mi marker which q wave which q wave pathological pathological or pathological q wave have you got it will you diagnose ecg from now on okay you have to check all the ecg so i am teaching you about ecg and you know ecg but you are not uh, trying to interpret you can't you can't explore your knowledge okay whatever ecgs you are getting just go through it okay you first lead second lead third lead okay avr avl okay v1 v2 vc v6 okay st st is normal p is normal qrs is wide okay rr interval is wide yeah i know there is uh, there is uh, some tachycardia or sinus tachycardia sinus bradycardia or ventricular problem at least you can say okay p wave is abnormal so atrial problem qrs complex is abnormal